Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan and welcome back to another video. Today I'm introducing you to the new layering stencil bundle from Gina K Designs called A Little Hello. I'm going to be showing you what's all included in the bundle and how to use this layering stencil. What's really neat about this stencil is that Gina's daughter actually hand drew these images so they give a very whimsical and playful look. So here's a look at the actual layering stencil bundle. You're getting three stencils that are going to layer together to create a beautiful background or you also get the coordinating dies in the kit so you can die cut out those images as well to use individually on your card fronts. There's also a small stamp set here. This is a little hello mini stamp set and you're also getting the hello and shadow die set. So this is a great bundle and you can create a lot of different cards with this bundle. Now here's a closer look at some of the products in the kit. This is the A Little Hello mini stamp set. I'm going to show you how to use some of those images in just a moment. I'm going to show you the stencils that are included. So this is layer one. Each stencil is layered uh, labeled at the bottom of the stencil so you know which side is the front and also what order to go in. And I'll show you that close up in just one moment. So this is layer two and then layer three, it has a little enhancement to the leaves to add some shadows to it and also the centers of the flowers. Now on layer two, you're gonna notice there are those lines in the middle and that also can be stamped. So here's a closer look at the bottom of the stencil. So it says bold flowers one, that is your first layer. And I'll show you exactly how that stamp set would work as well. So if I were to take that kind of circle image with the lines on it, that would layer up on top of your flower. If you were to use just stencil one that lines up over the flower, there's also some different designs to add for the center of your flowers as well. So there are a lot of different options for you either by stamping or uh, stenciling if that's what you prefer. And then also that coordinating die. I'm going to start off with a layer one of the stencil and a piece of layering white cardstock cut to six by six. I'm also trying out a trick that I picked up from Simon Hurley and that is lining up my cardstock and my stencil in my Misty tool. And then I also just took a piece of post-it tape and I'm holding my stencil down onto just some craft paper on the back of my Misty stamping tool. If you would like to see how to use a layering stencil without the Misty tool, I'm going to link to a video that I previously did and you can check that out there. So this first layer, I'm just doing some real easy ink blending using Peach Bellini and Gina K Designs blending brushes, just adding a solid color over the entire background. I'm going to step up my next couple stencils by adding multiple colors and I'll show you how I did that. After I have this first stencil color done, I'm gonna remove that first layer and then I'm gonna bring in the layer two, which it states at the bottom left-hand side of the stencil and I'll just hold that back down with post-it tape. Now I'm gonna do some just quick and easy masking using post-it notes. Post-it notes are very inexpensive. You can get a whole pack at the store for a very low price and I reuse a lot of them. So I'm taking a couple post-it notes and I'm blocking off the leaves on the stencil that's just going to help me control where my color is going. You really don't need the post-it notes if you trust yourself to not get that color on the leaves, but I, I don't trust myself. I know I get a little crazy with my blending brushes. And even though this looks kind of tedious and time consuming, it really isn't. It's, it's really easy because you know exactly where your colors are going to go. So it's just a matter of picking up those post-it notes and moving them around. And I'm blending on Coral Reef. You could actually use that Peach Bellini and just add a heavier hand to it to make it a darker color. But I went with Coral Reef on this. These are colors I don't reach for very often. So I thought they would make a beautiful color combination on my card. So once I have all those center pieces ink blended on, I'm going to mask those areas off and blend on the leaves. Now I'm trying out a really unique color combination here. This is using sea glass as my first layer and then just lightly going over those leaves again with Lucky Clover. So I'm kind of two-toning it and just changing that up a little bit. So once I have all the leaves ink blended on, I'm going to remove the second layer and bring in the third layer. Now keep in mind that those kind of added images to the center of the flowers or on the petals are a stamp set too. So you could always stamp those on if you prefer and do maybe some heat embossing. 
So for the third layer, which has just some added detail to the leaves and also center pieces, I'm going to mask off those center pieces. There's actually quite a bit of room. You wouldn't need to mask them off. But like I said before, I, I don't trust myself. So I'm just kind of playing it safe. So for these added details of the leaves, I'm going to ink blend on Christmas pine. So it's a really nice dark color. It's going to add a lot of contrast to this. And I'm gonna continue with that color all the way down through the rest of the leaves. And the next thing I'll be ink blending is going to be the center pieces of the flower and I'm going to use a yellow. I didn't want to get any of that green in my yellow center pieces. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I do. I'm gonna remove that post-it tape tape that's kind of holding my stencil down in my misty tool I'm going to remove that stencil and I have here just a cloth that I use for wiping my my desk off I'm going to lay that stencil down and spritz this with water and then just wipe all that green ink off since I have the corner of my cardstock still in my misty tool and Gina's stencils are labeled it was really easy to just place this back in my misty and line everything back up now I'm masking off those leaves and I'm bringing in wild dandelion to add those centerpieces to the flowers, which also is included on the coordinating stamp set and has some really cool and unique designs that you could stamp in there too. Now also keep in mind when you're ink blending these stencils on, if they don't line up exactly centered or exact on the leaves, don't worried too much about it these are hand drawn stencils so there is a little bit of playfulness and whimsical look to it where they're not meant to really line up exactly perfect you could shift your stencil if that's how you want it to be but just keep in mind you don't have to have them perfectly centered so another great feature about this bundle is you have coordinating dies so you can use this as a background to a card or use the coordinating dies and die cut out all of these images and I die cut out a ton. So now that I have pieces die cut out and backgrounds ready to go I'm going to work on creating my first card. I'm starting with a piece of layering white cardstock cut to three and three quarters by five inches and I'm just ink blending one corner with peach bellini starting out in that bottom corner and then blending off so it fades into white. And here's a quick look at my layout that I'm going to create. So I, I laid everything out the way I wanted it to be. I'm just carefully removing that bottom piece. I'm not ready to do my card base yet. And I'm going to take my connect glue and tweezers and just carefully remove my pieces and add some liquid glue to those. Now, another trick you could do is if you like your arrangement is to pick it up with some press and seal. And then everything stays together in the arrangement you have it. And you can just add glue to the back of it and place it all back down in your card. I didn't think of it at the time. So either way works really well. Once that's all glued down, I'm just going to trim off any of that excess that's overhanging on the edges. Then I'm going to work on heat embossing a sentiment and I'm going to show you one of the best tricks I have ever picked up from Gina when it comes to heat embossing. This is just a little sentiment off of the uh, A Little Hello mini stamp set. I'm using black onyx cardstock and I prepped that with an anti-static powder tool and I'm stamping my sentiment in white pigment ink because I'm going to white heat emboss. I love this trick because it really gives such a great solid white impression for my heat embossing so I sprinkled on that white embossing powder and then I'm melting that and it's just it's so solid I love this trick then I'm using a little sentiment banner from the master layouts too and I'm going to die cut out my sentiment and trim off those little flags so off screen I die cut out the word hello three times from black onyx cardstock and I'm going to layer these together to create some dimension I'm just adding little dots of the connect glue and using my tweezers to kind of help line all of those pieces up together. For that last flower for my arrangement, I'm adding some foam squares behind it and just adding that on top of my flower arrangement I have here in the corner of my card. And then I'm taking that hello word die that I layered together and I added really skinny strips of foam tape behind some of those letters so that it lays together really nice across my flower. If you didn't want to mess with the skinny strips of foam tape, you could go ahead and add that hello to the top of your card. I also added foam strips behind my small sentiment and added that right under my hello word die. I took three pieces of heavyweight cardstock and layered it together cut to the same size as my card panel here which is the three and three quarter by five inches and then I'm layering this on top of 
another piece of white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So there is quite a bit of dimension on here, but I, I love dimension and I love how this card turned out. So I just finished it off with a few of the Angel Aura rhinestones and I'm just applying that with Connect Glue and my embellishment wand. And then as a finishing touch, I'm taking the Crystalline Drops in Morning Dew and I'm going to go over that entire word, hello. This just gives it a really pretty glossy look. Now Gina also has quite a variety of these Crystalline Drops in different colors and sparkles, a great variety on there if you wanted to change that up to something other than the glossy. So for my second card, I have another background here that I had created and I'm using one of the dies. This is a stitched die from the Master Layouts 2 die set. And I love this because I can pick and choose where on my background I want a die cut out for a front panel. I also used another die off of that Master Layouts 2 and die cut that from Black Onyx cardstock. This is going to give just that smidgen of black edge around my card panel, a very signature look for a Gina K Designs card. And I just layered those together and then I'm adding to a card base cut from the heavyweight white cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. In the excitement of putting my card here together, I didn't think about my sentiment and I really wanted to stamp on top of it. So I placed this in my Misty tool and I do have my card panel layered together with cardstock. So I had to be really careful when stamping this sentiment. Then I have another word, uh, hello word die cut from white cardstock that's layered together. And I'm adding that right above my small sentiment there. I love how that hello kind of dips down a little bit and just has that kind of whimsical look to it. So this finishes card number two and I have one more card I want to share with you. Now when I die cut this background, I left myself a little strip and I just could not let this go to waste. So I am going to use this on a card and I have Peach Bellini cardstock here. I lined up all of my elements that I'm going to put on my card and I have a sentiment here that I'm going to stamp just down in that bottom corner and I'll be using the Obsidian ink from Gina K Designs. Now I also took some cardstock, this is scrap cardstock that I have, that I cut to the same size as my strip, and I layered that together. This is gonna add just a, bit of, a little bit of lift on the edge of my card, and then I can attach that down, and I left a little bit of that Peach Bellini cardstock on the very edge. Then just adding little dots of glue to my die cut hello word um, that is cut from white cardstock, and I'm gonna add that right above my sentiment that I stamped down. I really love this design. I was surprised because I don't do strips on the side very often. So really loving this card. I hope you enjoyed today's inspiration using the new A Little Hello Layering Stencil Bundle from Gina K Designs. I will have all of the supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well, along with pictures of each of the cards. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.